Hey, what is up guys? It's Caffeinated Burger, and today I'm going to be talking about Call of Duty and what could save next-gen Call of Duty. Like, what could keep people on it? So obviously next year, Infinity Ward is making the next Call of Duty. And um, I'm just going to say this first off, if they make it Ghosts 2, that's almost suicide for the Call of Duty series. I've heard the rumors about it being Bloodlines, and I don't know if that's true or not, uh, but if they call it Ghost 2, I feel like tons and tons of people are not going to want to do it. Also, they need to not make it for last gen consoles. If they make it for last gen consoles, that's just encouraging the idea of people to not upgrade to the PS4 and Xbox One uh, because they think they can keep getting the games. Um, I understand some people have financial problems, but then the people who want to stay on there because of the older games will keep doing so until uh, eventually it's off. That's what I want to talk about today though, is people on the last gen consoles. Now last year, um, Advanced Warfare was taken very, very poorly, No, not a lot of people liked Advanced Warfare. I, I don't know, I was just kind of, I was alright with it, but it was not my favorite at all. So, when people uh, don't like a Call of Duty or they get tired of it, they seem to go back to old Call of Duties such as classics like their favorites like Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 2, COD 4, um, MW3. They go back to those games. And the problem with that now is that there's PS4 primary games like Black Ops 3, Advanced Warfare and Ghosts, which I have Ghost gameplay in the background because I just got it for the PS4 back when I got Ghosts. I had it on the PS3 and I had it on the PS3 up until today. I actually got it today. Um, so that's the problem is they need to remaster the old gen Call of Duties. Why? Because first of all, it can get all the people off of PS3 onto PS4 and they can play all their old games that they didn't want to get rid of and all the new Call of Duties and still have the same console going as well as people who have both and they still don't want to get rid of their PS3 or their uh, old games uh, they could they can do that they can get it uh, like bundles of MW Modern Warfare series for the PS4 and not have to switch between consoles I know it's a big hassle for me having to switch back and forth all the cords and even Elgato to switch from PS4 to PS3 I, that's why I don't pay, play PS3 very much anymore I would like to go back and play those old COD games but it's very complicated to do so so if they did that that could potentially save the Call of Duty community not necessarily the next f games but it will keep Call of Duty getting money and Activision getting support from Call of Duty if they make these games for the PS4. Like I said with bundles, they can make a World at War and the two Black Ops bundles as well as they can make a Modern Warfare series bundles and I don't know about COD 1, 2, and 3. I never really played them or ever have but they could even do that with those. Plus it would have better graphics and nobody would be hacking. That's the problem with World at War and COD 4 mainly. Everybody seems to be hacking and I couldn't get in a hacked lobby, or I could not get in a non-hacked lobby in COD 4 and it was bothering me because I wanted to play an actual real game of uh, Modern Warfare. So uh, it, really, it really would help that too because nobody would be hacking the new remastered games, at least not right away. So that's what I think could save the Call of Duty community other than Infinity Ward's next game not being bad or being named Ghosts 2. So, hope you guys did enjoy that video. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Comment down below what your thoughts are on this subject. And uh, subscribe for more videos. It's been Captain Neighbor, and I'll see you all in the next video.